I do understand. I'm sorry that I didn't before. You finish packing, I'll see you later. seen the funny papers. Why'd you say that? I didn't think you remember. Oh, it's the first time you took me to school. Uh, I must have been six and, and scared to death. I wanted you to come in and say hello. I know you did. But what, what you said was, uh, I'll see you in the funny papers and left. Yeah, I knew if I said anything that made any sense at all. I knew if I tried to tell you that you're going through those doors and a whole life is going to begin. I knew if I said anything like that, I'd scoop you up and take you right back home. So I said the first thing I thought of that would keep you going away from me toward that beginning. Oh, Daddy. And after you went in, I waited till the coast was clear, and then I went in. There was a little window in a classroom door. I saw you walk over to your chair, sit down. I could only see you back, but I knew you were okay. Can you do that today? Should I? No. I'm okay. See you in the funny papers, Dad. <laughs> You're not going to school today. I'm not? Why? Because you have something else to do. What? I want you to choose some special place, some place you like very much, and go there with me. Why? Annie, I made a big mistake when I said you'd never been through an earthquake. You have. Your whole life was shaken to the roots last year. The accident was just a year ago, wasn't it? I know it was. Honey, you can't cover up one calamity by manufacturing another one. I don't want to talk about this. I think it's the only way you can survive the quake. Please come with me. Some lunch. Right? I want you and your corned beef out. Nancy, you know they give that exam every six months. This way we can start working any time you want. You'll be ready for it next time. Get out. You knew you shouldn't take it today, but you thought you had to. 
That's why I did it. For you. He did it for you, Ben. All for you. You just saw me coming. Nancy, you were yelling for someone to get between you and that exam at the top of your lungs. Maybe I was. So what does that say? You need me, and I need you. I need someone who's going to help me move forward, not stand in one place. All right, fine, fine. Then let's start over from where we are right now. We can't. Nothing's changed. Yes, it has, if only because I did take that exam. And it was a brute, just like you said it was, but I'm going back in tomorrow and Thursday, and, and when the results come back, if I fail, then I'm going to go back and I'm going to try again and again. You don't have to go back. Yes, I do, if, if only to keep myself safe from people like you. It's the only way I'm going to ever be able to get out of the place that I'm in. But I want to get out very badly. Please go. the phone or the door I've got a lot of studying to do suppose I need rescuing call the fire department that's their job Poor Nancy. She was so tired at dinner, she could hardly keep her eyes open. Yeah. Well, the first day is over. Next two will be much easier. Then all she has to do is wait and see if she passed. Yeah, well, that part is much easier. I hope so. And he's Bush, too. But calmer, better. Oh, I hope everything will be status quo for a while. Me, too. Did you feel that? The house shook. I hoped I just imagined it. We probably both did. Right. I hope Annie's still asleep. My. I feel ancient. That makes two of us. You know, another ten years, even Annie will be dealing with her own problems. And then, oh. What larks. Hmm. And in the meantime? What? Diversionary tactics. Good thinking. 